Afternoon all. Okay, so here's the thing. Most people get that to lose weight, you've got to create that calorie deficit. So most people will make an effort to reduce calories. Good job. But the issue comes when I'll be doing a consultation and I'll be chatting to someone, maybe they're struggling to lose weight, and they'll say something along the lines of, I'm eating 1,200, 1,300, 1500, sometimes even down at 1000, I'm eating these low numbers, but the scales isn't budging. Now, 99 times out of 100, that person isn't actually eating 1200 calories or 1100 calories, they're actually eating more. And, and I'd say the majority of the time, it's not that they're trying to deceive me as such, it's just they don't realize that they're actually, they're just consuming more than they think, um, subconsciously, a lot of the time. So it typically happens in a couple of ways. Either people estimate calories, so they sort of think, yeah, well, there's 300 in that, I know there's 500 there, 100 in that snack. They do a bit of sort of ad hoc maths and think, yeah, I'm, I'm about 1,200. But the reality is, unless you've got the scales out and you're physically weighing the food and knowing exactly what's going in, you're probably overeating, almost definitely overeating, definitely more than you think. Um, and I've just written a post about it and there's, there's a picture of me sort of um, going headfirst into a box of cereal. And that's because, you know, every time I go to the cupboard, I've got a little habit where I'll sort of, you know, like dip my hand in, grab a handful. And that might only be sort of 50 calories, maybe even 100 a time. But if I do that two, three times a day over the course of a week and month, it does add up. Um, and the other issue tends to be you do get someone to weigh their food or, or to track accurately, Monday to Friday, spot on, but then Friday night and the weekend hits and suddenly the tracking gets a little bit sketchy, you know, maybe you don't count the meal out or the Domino's or the Indian or whatever you have. And it's easily done. You can, you know, create that deficit four or five days, you'll bang on the money and the weekend just blows up um, and with it your, your fat burning efforts. So in the short term, if you're going to go the sort of calorie counting route, which I do recommend, I would get I would get a, a decent set of digital scales and just track food rigorously. It is a pain in the ass in the early stages, and I don't recommend doing it um, forever. But for a couple of weeks, just do it and and track it and be really rigorous with it, and just take that extra time. Um, and I'd especially recommend this if you're really frustrated and you're like, no, I'm 100% I'm sure, I'm definitely eating 1,200, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the money with it. We all do this. Like, I'm not picking out, I'm not picking on anyone in particular. It's just a common thing. Like the study that I linked on the, on the Facebook post, I think people were misreporting by up to sort of 47%. So we're not even talking about um, 100 calories. We're talking like five, six, 700. People are off by it across the board, not just one person, everyone was who was looked at. And this has been replicated time and time again. So we all do it, um, some more than others and some to a greater extent than, than others. But yeah, if you're getting, if, you, if you're sat there now thinking, no, I'm definitely having 12, I'm definitely having 15, whatever it is, take a deep breath, press reset and just start tracking again and be really honest with yourself and be as strict as you can possibly be, at least for a couple of weeks, and see what happens. Um, I hope that was helpful. And if you want, if you do want any help, drop me an email or fire questions in the box below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. See you later.